Hello everyone, good morning, I'm Ms. Rocio and today we are going to talk about the verbs in present, past and future. I'm the English teacher for first and second grade. Okay guys, to start the class, I have a question. What changes can be seen in a turn? For this I have a video, let's watch it. What changes can be seen in nature? Well, for one thing, I have to change how I dress. In the summer, I wear shorts. And in the winter, I have to wear a heavy jacket and gloves. Each year, we experience the change of seasons, passing through summer, fall, winter, and spring. With these seasonal changes, our behavior changes as well. We wear different clothes, eat different foods, and use different types of tools. Umbrellas in the spring, garden hoses in the summer, rakes in the fall, and shovels in the winter. Animals also change with the seasons. Birds migrate to warmer weather in the fall, and then return to cooler weather in the spring. And bears hibernate in the winter, not to emerge until the spring. Even plants change. In the spring, buds sprout from trees. In the summer, flowers bloom. And in the fall, leaves turn to a golden brown and fall to the ground. The change in seasons changes everything. This week you will learn that as the seasons change, the weather changes, and that makes people, animals, and plants change. What changes can you see in nature? Okay, as is in our video, I'm going to use the season winter, spring, summer, and autumn. We use different kind of clothes, like in winter we use gloves, jacket, but what about summer? We prefer chore, swim suit, and I like to visit my sister. I prefer a close um, places if we are in winter. But in summer, I prefer to go to the beach or vacations. Next Christmas, I will visit my sister. Last spring, we planned to go to the park, but it was raining. My family and I will go to the beach for summer. And my mom loves the color of the leaves in the fall. Yes, to continue, let's practice our spelling words. Let's start, the title is Word with ED. Number one, plan. Plan, I plan to go to the library. Number two, plant, we add ED. We plan to have a picnic, but it's rain. Plan. Number three and four. Help. Help. Jill will help by setting the table. Number four. Help. Help. ED at the end. Grandpa helped me with my homework. Help. Number five and six. Drop. Drop. Be careful not to drop that glass. Drop. Dropped. Dropped. The plate dropped and broke. Number seven and eight. Call, call. Sometimes my friends call me on the phone. Call, call. I raise my hand and the teacher call on me. Number nine and 10, ask. I will ask mom if my friends can come over. Ask. 
Paul asked his dad to take him to the park. Ask. Okay, now I have the grammar topic. Okay, we have the verbs in present, past, and future. The present tense of the verb tells that something is happening now, in this moment. We can use today or now to talk about the present. And for the past, the past tense of the verb tells that something already happened. In the past, we can use words like mm, last week, last month. Yesterday, something that happened. And for future, the future tense of a verb tells that something will happen in the future. Something that is not ready. Okay? And we can use this example. I have the word will. Will is used for future, so next, next Christmas, I will visit my sister. Next, something that is not happening in this moment or happened in the past. And for past, for past, I use ed at the end of the verb, last, as I told you, we can use this word for the past. Last spring, we planned to go to the park, but it was raining. The last spring, not in this moment, okay? And for present, I have, you can use the verb in the simple form or for she, he, and it, we use the letter S at the end of my verb. So, our example for past, for present, and future. Okay, this is our last work. We are going to practice our verbs. Choose the correct verb to complete each sentence in the number one. Last month, Sam planted or planned the, blue, the blueberry bunch. Last month, we are talking about the past. So, I'm going to use planted with ed. Number two, today, present, Sam, Waters, water, the bush. Present, I add the letter S, waters. Yesterday, Wendy helped or will help some. Yesterday is not future, is past. Tomorrow, Sam picks, will pick blueberries. Tomorrow is in the future, so I'm going to add the word will. Will pick. Our last sentence. In a few days, Wendy will call or call in the past or future. In a few days, we have to add, will call. Okay, thank you for your attention and see you later. Have fun, guys.